as you guys can see from the title, today I'm actually doing an early finale of one of my project pans. This is something that I just wanted to test out this year to see how I was doing. And I kind of feel like I have met my my max, I've met my goal, I met my how much I could tolerate basically uh, before I officially like give up on it. I don't know if I was ready for this project pan. I wanted to give it a shot and see how I did. And overall, I feel like it was a bit of a success. Um, obviously towards the end, it's with anything in the beginning, it's always exciting and new and fun. But towards the end, I, I realized that sometimes some things are not meant to be. So as you guys can see from the title today, I'm going to share with you guys my finale for Project 50 uses. So if you're interested to see where I stood with the last few palettes, stay tuned. Okay, so I had three palettes in here. In the beginning, I realized four palettes was too much for me. And now three palettes seems to be where I stood. But I will tell you that um, I had a lot of fun with these palettes, but I am kind of, I'm getting to the point where I'm being burnt out with eyeshadow panning. So this, that's why I feel like I am the way that I am. I think if I would have done this project pan a few years ago, I think I would have been a little bit more successful and I would have seen it more often. But right now, I'm burnt out. I really am burnt out. So I'm going to start out with the one that has been here the longest and that is my Too Faced Sweet Peach. I'm very happy. I'll show you pictures of where I was and this is where we are today with this palette. I am still loving this palette. I still enjoy this palette. There's nothing wrong with it. It still smells like peach to me. It is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I came up with some beautiful looks and I did spread my love throughout the palette. So I didn't just stick to like this inner corner highlight or just the creases. I did dabble all over the palette. The only ones I really didn't touch was the darker shades because I wasn't ready for these darker shades over here. But I even went into this green, all these peaches. Like I, I did quite a bit with this palette. So my goal for this project pan is to hit 50 uses. In this palette, I went up to 26 uses. I think that's pretty good. 26 uses is actually pretty good overall considering all the palettes that I have and the timing that I've had. I think the last update, I'll put it on the screen somewhere. I can't remember how long, but it has been at least two-ish, almost three months of me having these palettes. So 26 uses is where we ended with this one specifically. Then we brought in the Patrick Ta Major Dimension 2. So I'll show you where I was before and this is where we are right now. It doesn't look anything different. It's still the same. In total, I only use this 13 times. What I've learned from this palette is this palette is not something that I, I reach for often because of its movey pinky undertone to it. I just, I realized you guys that I'm just not into pinks as often. And I struggle with this one certain times of the year. I love the shimmers, but I can't do a full look with these because it just looks too pink on me. I don't know. It, it just pulls a lot more pink than I wanted to. And it may have been because I have a tan or I'm little by little losing the tan and I might enjoy this palette more when I don't have a tan. 13 uses is all I got out of this one, but I did come out with beautiful looks so far. This palette does not have any mold. I've been checking on it, keeping an eye on it, and it is a beautiful palette. I'm not going to get rid of this one either, but I have already realized that pinks are just not my jam. I don't like pinks and when I have a tan, I, I'd rather stay away from those mauvey movie kind of shades and just stick to my warm tones until I lose my tan. So that's going back in my collection as well. Last but not least, and the one that has been in here, the least amount of time is my Urban Decay Born to Run. I will say I didn't get full on use out of this one. I really wanted to get into these deeper shades um, as now happens. I might end up keeping it out just to wear this green and this brown in here, but I did get quite a bit of use out of it. This one looks like it's very well loved. I use these a lot. I use this one, these. I didn't really use these pinks. So I didn't dabble 100% all over the place with this one. This one only got 12 uses, but I do enjoy it. And I did enjoy the colors that came out of it. I will say that I can do without certain shades in here, but I do love other shades. So overall, I do like it as a whole. It's still working perfectly fine. And you guys, there's some shadows in here that have yet to even be touched. So. Half this palette is still looking brand new to you guys. So I am going to keep this one. It's still working perfectly fine. I didn't get any irritation. I do take care of my palettes and sanitize them and stuff. So then they do last um, for me. So overall, the most that I got out of these palettes was 26 uses. 
the least was 12. I will say at least I got over 10 uses on each of these and that to me is a success because it is harder for me to even reach for a palette five times, let alone 10 times. So I'm happy that they got use out of them. It, they weren't palettes that I want to get rid of either. These are palettes that are still gonna stay in my collection. So the this exercise allowed me to just love a little bit more on palettes that I've been neglecting love a little bit more on palettes that I wanted to love and kind of like find a way to do that. Um, I think I'll put the statistics of how many palettes I reached the 50 use goal. I'm going to say off the top of my head, I believe it was like maybe four ish, four palettes in total, maybe three palettes in total overall. It's very hard to hit a hundred uses, let alone fi like 50 uses, let alone a hundred. Like I can't do that, but I am to the point where I am feeling burnt out. And I knew that these were just sitting on my desk and not getting touched. So I said, you know what? Let's just wrap up this, this whole entire uh, project pan, put these away and just reach for what I want to reach for. I really have been enjoying doing that. And that has allowed me as well to really hone down on the palettes I wanted to keep. And doing a Project 50 use is just kind of holding me back from going throughout my collection. I am to the point where I just want to just pick just pick and enjoy. And if I want to sit with a palette for 10 days, let me sit with it for 10 days. If I want to just use it one time, let me use it just one time. Sometimes I feel like just sticking with one palette and sometimes I feel like jumping around and picking a different one every day. I've been project panning eyeshadows for quite some time now, quite a few years. And I'm feeling where I am content. I am happy with where I stand. I'm not buying every single release. I am being very specific on what eyeshadow palettes I am picking out and which ones I'm spending my money on. Come a long way from the beginning of where I started my project panning journey. So I feel like I wanna test out to see if I can kind of loosen the reins a little bit and not be stuck to being forced to touch a palette to see if I can still stay on track with not having to purchase every single release that comes out. So it was a very good learning experience for me. I learned a lot. I know what I like and what I don't like in a palette. I see what I reach for and what I don't reach for in a palette. And just having a little bit more freedom will allow me to do that a little bit more. So that is all that I have for you guys today. This was a quick an easy finish. I knew that November came, I was not going to hit my 50 uses on any of these and it was just gonna be a waste of time to just drag it on because I feel like they were sitting on my desk like eyeing me. Pick me up, use me, don't forget about me. And I just don't like that. I'd rather reach for it naturally than being forced to reach for something. All right, guys, that's all that I have. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will catch you guys on a new video on the screen. Until then, 